No matter how much time changes, some things remain the same. So that means for episode 30, 2020. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up. <laughs> now come on in! Please hold your applause. Cause we're making moves. Yeah, thank you, God. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, right. hey, you're gonna have to owe me for that one. Right. Right. Oh, you were not licensed to say that just yet. Right. We'll talk about your penalty later on. Right. Hey, it is come like come on in because again, brought to you. Brand new. Brand new. Brand brought new. to you by Main Attraction Entertainment <laughs> and Facts Not False Productions. Once again, it's the show that came to be. From the man you came to see. Right. Welcome to the home of the unculturally culture. Un uh, it's a new year's thing I do. Right. Right. Take two. Take two. <clears throat> Welcome to the home of the organically, fabricatedly, specifically unspecified, culturally uncultured, unradio podcast of. I'm kind of nervous because we got something special in the building. Mm-hmm. No! I'm right. What? And, oh. uh,. We are here. We are. We are here. 2020. With the two hosts. With the two hosts. It is the intellectually uneducated, entertainingly unentertained first man up, Mr. L.A. Runs Dallas, captain of the vessel, you know, main general, iconic guy himself. And I'm always flanked with the best number two in 2020. Right. Start off the year right. Really? Yes, sir. Right. Like to go ahead and welcome my main man, the mm. impossible kid, Nathan Pro. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? It's Nathan's dad in the building, everybody. How you doing? 2020, Freddie. Happy New Year. In the building. In we apathetically implore you to tune in every Wednesday night because we's back, baby. We's? I would not. We's back. No, no, no. no. I yeah, don't know we's. You don't know we's? We's. we's. No, no. The wheezy, of all the nonsense, the of all the nonsense we, we have to show, Weez will not make an appearance. No Why Weez won't? Weez won't have that because Weez ain't ignorant. All right, Weez ain't. That's true. Right. But we are un, we're educated, educated un- unspecified, and unculturally yeah, all uncouth that. or something. I, mean, I still haven't gotten it. But we do that on every Wednesday night at 7. Right. 7. Absolutely. Not 8. 7. It's only 8 if you're on the East Coast. But Weez in the dirty dirty. So it's 7 o'clock. Every Wednesday for the absolute best use at wasting your time that you can't get back. And do not forget the golden rule. <laughs> Just do a little product placement real fast. As brought by the by the corporation. Main, Main Traction Entertainment. Entertainment. Um, and Facts Not Facts Fox Not Production. Production. Yes. Right, right. I'm always right. No, that shirt and jacket. No, this just a jacket, sir. Oh, it's, the, oh, it's, it's just a jacket. If I, if I could just, can I give you a little something? Well, you're, you're Can I give you just a little, let me get the head. I got to give you a little something. Right. Just a little something. Okay, just making sure. Show you how well Christmas has been to the king. Oh, really? Because the you're bonus, wearing, baby. You're wearing Christmas. The bonus, the I'm bonus. telling you. You got a bonus? The bonus, baby. Right. Woo! Okay, okay. Okay, so it's, it's we just got green lit for cutting up with LA season two. Right, green lit, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's green lit, and we on. Oh, that ain't all. Wait, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, ain't all, baby. Wait a minute, that ain't all. Looks like Jack yeah. Edge is in the building. Woo. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Gotta make sure you, you get one more clips of that right there. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. What are they doing? Two twins from Jack Edge. You know, we want them. You. Ah, saute or saute, ah, whatever his name was. Ice a little more blink you. Are those zippers? Watch a little oh, more oh, correct oh, with the time. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah. Are those zippers on your shoulder? <laughs> yeah, sir. Is that too you know, much? Is that too much? Is that too much? Is that too much? Is that too much? Is there a hood on that? Is there a hood on that? It is a hoodie, sir. It is a hood. Oh, sweet Jesus. You know, if we can, we can be so apro what we can. Oh, I man. Oh, <laughs> man. Is yeah, that alligator. Or yeah, yeah. What leather. Woo! It's yeah. real rich as it's a real as, rich. A, as a wise producer once so said. Just, so just looking so real rich so right just now. Just so I'm clear. Okay. Just so I'm clear. Yeah. This Woo. is all Christmas bonus Woo. stuff. This oh, is yeah. You know sponsors and all that. You know I mean I can't. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean I you know we I got Christmas too. Woo. So I got for Christmas I got yeah. you know a new shirt. Hey, you, hey, it is something different about you. Shirt. Yeah. You look a lot less disgusting today. Right. Thank you. That is awesome, man. Improvements. And Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Happy New yeah. Decade. You know what I'm saying? So I got a shirt. Yeah. And you got a whole ensemble. You got oh, a you know. Band. 
You got bracelets. You yeah. The, the, the watch is defeasible. You know, yeah. yeah. It's these watch, baby. It's diesel. <laughs> Some yeah. things you can't pronounce, I'm sure. sure. I'm right, sure. Right. We got the styrofoam <laughs> puff jacket on. All that. All that, baby. Merry Christmas. Yeah. You're yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, I right. mean, hey, you know, Somebody's got so it. I do, hey, hey, hard work right. pays off. Well, you seem a lot more chipper coming in. Yeah. Just, you know, just thought out. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. Okay. I totally forgot. Mm -hmm. We're talking about things that you get with your bonus, right? Right. I have a, I have a surprise. You have a surprise? You, I, this, everything you just showed us right now is not the Ain't surprise. even it. That's not even close. Like, I this, have. This is right. Like this is like we're going to win ten. This is sick. If I gotta go run to Walmart, right, right. which I never do because I don't. Uh, right. Walmart. Walmart, it, Walmart no, comes to I you. got people, right? right. So mm -hmm. if I am to go ahead and, and I'll, I'll give a gift because I, you know, I'm the gift to keep, so I'm giving. So I'm going to give you, and I'm going to give our fans. Oh, oh, I thought I was actually going to get something. A 2020 first edition of first edition of unboxing right. with LA. Right. So got some hot for you. And there's got some heat for you. Some more shoes. You know, someone called us a complex. But Again, from my boy at night. Your boy. Shout out to Beaverton, Oregon. What's the guy's name, Nike? Sir, I call him my boy Nizzle. Nizzle? Yeah. Nizzle. Because he preferred to me as L. Dizzle. L.A. runs Dallas. You know that means? Like, we got to go off our brand. That's what and, we do. And he's, his name is Nizzle. His name is Nizzle. He's branded as Nizzle. Yes. Yo, Senior Nizzle. Young CEO. You'll hear it on a new track for the uh, Main Attraction 2 album dropping soon. Man. Ooh, he rocks yes. all around. It is. It is. This here? What? what? Unboxing. Unboxing. With right. LA. So off, 2020. So off, off the bat. 30 2020. Episode 30 2020. 2020 which adds to 7. Uh -huh. So already we know it's Jordan's. We already know. Because it's got the Jumpman on the front. That's it's my got dude. the collage of, of Michael, Michael Jeff and Jordan, the iconic moments. Yep. The Jumpman, he does the arm span, the uh -huh. wings poster. Him jumping from the free throw line. Looks That's like the, the uh, is it the shoes with, uh, mm -hmm. uh, what you call the, yep, the yep. faithful shot. Little space, space little, jam, little jam, jam and slam. slam. Yeah. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, overall, a very artistic looking box. Yeah. Uh, you know, respect it. Respect. Oh, got to. Yeah. I mean, if, if nothing else, yeah. the box looks good. Right. We haven't decided what. Monstrosity is gonna. There is no monstrosity. This is Michael Jeffrey Jordan, baby. Well, I don't know if he approves this. Oh, design. this message has been approved. Okay, so we're gonna have a little, we have a little drum roll. Yeah, a little drum roll. Ooh, that new box smell. Ooh, oh my god. Oh man. Mm. New book. <laughs> Daddy, yo. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. Before, before you show Oh my it, goodness. Before I say anything, I just wanted to Oh my goodness. Sometimes the show, the show just writes itself. It really does. Oh, oh my goodness. The level of commitment that you Ooh, put into. Oh my goodness. Creating an abomination. Oh my goodness. That is a, that is a perversion of art and Ooh. sneakerdom. So. Sir, do, I'll have you to know. Those shoes. I will have you to know before your descript. Your incorrect descript. My incorrect descript. That this shoe is, a is our premium level. Right, 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 right. Okay. So with animal instinct on the intakes here. Animal instinct mm -hmm. on the intake. Okay. So just, that's what Jordan had. So just so I'm clear, we and have the, we have the entire circle of life going on. Yes, sir. We have the Lion King threes if you want to. Is, sure. <laughs> if you right. want to, baby. Absolutely. The right. Lion King threes. The safari fours, right. So, sir, this is all hair donated by animals of the wild. Don't they donated themselves? They did. They voluntarily, they voluntarily walked up they was like, to the Nike truck. These are for who? <laughs> <laughs> these are for LA. And, and, oh. and I'm telling you. Oh. Now the lions oh. were like, oh. they were like, my boy. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, it's well, 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 what the lions say? We're not talking about that, baby. What the lions say? Oh, my boy. You know what I'm saying? It's not the Right. Okay. Then, you know. So first of all, lions don't speak. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, you ain't seen Lion King. You right. believe that? Just trying to say. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Lion so, King so three. If you want fuzzy. to. So okay. So just so we know. Say. On top, cheetah. Mm. Mm. Or leopard. A leopard. That's cheetah, and the other one's leopard. Yeah. On, indeed. On the, yeah. On the mm -hmm. Right. Or tiger. Mm -hmm. And then we have zebra on the back. We do. So it, it seems to me that those would that's predator and prey. Right. All on the same shoe. Correct. Then why would you do something? Letting you know how the prey is always surrounded by the predator. It don't matter where you're at. And what's in the middle? It looks like your beard hair. 
What's the limit? It's, it's how soft and it's luxurious. Like, no, yeah, no, I thought you, I thought yeah. you just took a little piece off. Oh, and just, absolutely. And look at, look how just smooth that is. That's so just it, amazing. It's like velvet. I'm gonna let our off-screen guest even t- take a little what, touch. What, off-screen. What, what off-screen, just guest? off-screen guest. Just off-screen guest. Yeah, just I'm just just in case there is one. Right. You know, just, just in case we have it. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, right, they they feel right. that. Right, right. Yeah. So you you bought those shoes? Well, no. Sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry. sorry. I have the B word. Just because things change, there's a lot that remain the same. Right. Okay. Right. The B word. Right. No, no, no. So those shoes were given to you by Jesus. I'm assuming. I don't know whoever it is. <laughs> they might as well. Uh, Steve Nizzle. Uh, L. Pizzle, whatever you said his name was. One last look. Okay. Well, uh, can I see the underside? Okay. Okay. Is there anything on the under the underside? No, no, sir. A side in there. Oh. The okay. peanut butter. Peanut butter gum. Is that bubble gum? What do they call it? Gum, mm-hmm. gum anyway. bottom, baby. Gum bottom. Right. So you have wasted more of our time. I don't want to say money because you didn't buy it. You're welcome. So we have buffalo in the middle, zebra in the back. And Cheeto in front. Don't forget the ostrich. And the ostrich and shepherd. Yeah, yeah. Right. And you're wearing alligator. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Right. So. Yeah. Flown in from the. Bayou. Bayou. Right. By way of, you know. Italy. Yes. Right, correct. right. It's the Italian got, Cajun yeah. alligator. Free, not, not caged. Mm-hmm. Free roaming free alligator. Free range that. alligator. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Got to be. It feels, so, a lot, it feels a lot softer, too. You know, I, I can see, you know, I used to be a complain about not getting paid on the show. Uh-huh. And now I'm starting to think, well, if I did get paid and you do, I wouldn't spend my money on that stupid crap you spend your money on, which seems to make you happy. Well, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay. If it makes you happy. Only people without would would right would right. insult right. people with. Right. Okay, I'm sure people without right. insult people with all the time. I, I, you just choices. You know, hey, you, you looking dapper, Dan. Okay. I'm telling you. And I'd like to give a special shout out not only to my CEO of Nike, right, but yeah. I'd like to give a special shout out to the lunch that was brought to me today. It's a nice restaurant. They brought it to you. I brought it to me. Yeah. Ida, Ida, Claire, I'm Ida, sorry. Claire, and Addison. They brought you lunch today? Magnifique Nashville hot chicken sandwich. And it was a, well, you're a chef. What do they call it when it's not the sandwich? It's kind of on the outside and the, the bread part is underneath. Open face? The chick, what's the, deconst- is it de- deconstructed? Yeah, it's a de- it was a deconstructed. Well, deconstructed wouldn't be, that would be that it's not together. You're having to put it together yourself and they put it in different elements or different parts of the plate. Yeah, that's the, you So basically, the uh, no open face. Then we'll just go back to that. Right. And it was a beautiful sure. sandwich. Was it? Oh my goodness, mm-hmm. a non-sandwich sandwich. Right. It had. Did the, you sandwich it when you? I did not. I could not, sir. Oh, okay. The the Last fre- the the freshly made pimento cheese, that was oh my god, layered on right. it with the Nashville hot chicken, mm-hmm. the pickled onions, right, and the mm-hmm. the, the organic pickles on top. It was amazing. What kind of chicken was it? Was it a was it a was it chicken breast? Was yeah, two chicken breasts. Two chicken breasts. Thinly Deep sliced breast. and oh, it was so good. Wait, wait, wait. Thinly sliced chicken breast? Yeah, it was. It was sliced thin. You know, it and wasn't the fried? thick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't thick. You know, because they gave you. It was two or three. I don't. I, man, it's just so good. Right. Man. Couldn't even okay. finish it. Just want to give Ida Claire the CEO, Miss Ida. Shout out to you, baby. Yeah, I appreciate Wanted it. Want to go to that shot. So, uh, 100%. I've been out of there. And been it's been it's been located in Addison, right off the Tollway in Arapaho. No. You know, no. um, Nathan the no. bus doesn't get out there, so I don't know if you'll be visiting anytime soon, totally. but you're welcome to join me if you like I've the next time I'm out that way. They have a tobacco chocolate cake. Uh, I'm sure they do. As so you let's just know what tobacco is about. Right. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. So, the holiday season. You know what? I don't even want to get anything else because I have a special, yeah. special guest. It sounds show. like it. And I'd like to go ahead and bring her on so she can partake in the amazement of this show. Mm. Because like we do, mm-hmm. every week I guarantee a guest on this show. Guarantee. Unless otherwise specified. So, without further ado and ado, I would like to bring on not only the model, <laughs> but we, the we give it a slash. Yes, yeah, slash. Okay. Model slash forward slash forward slash brand ambassador. Brand ambassador for the No Upright brand under Main Attraction Entertainment. Facts not false productions. Facts not false productions. The lovely Miss Lauren Lewis. All right, what's going on? How you doing, young lady? Good. How are you? We're good. We're good. I'm happy to have you here. Uh, this is my first time meeting you. I know 
you in LA did a photo shoot here recently. And if we could just pause for a minute, let's just take a second to look at the lovely Miss Lewis's. I was actually waiting that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Like talking about the photo shoot. Correct, sir. To say, I, I'm sorry. You had a segue. My apologies. Right, so please, please continue. All, stomped all on it. Please I was continue. going to say that you guys recently had a photo shoot, and I see that you were wearing some of the things that are in the photo shoot or a new product brand that we have for the female line. If you could lean back a little bit and show our adoring public that our No I'm Right, right. that is a lovely, lovely No I'm Right long so, sleeve tee. That's a V scoop neck, by the way. V scoop neck. That's correct. Oh, very technical, very yeah. technical. Well, it's lovely on you. It's lovely on you. Yeah. And LA is wearing a, you know, whatever. Yeah, awesomeness. Yeah, awesomeness. And awesome. then Nathan is went to the thrift store, obviously, for the I show. Am and original. <laughs> yeah, original. Original scene. Right, right, right. Original homeless. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah. Lauren, thanks so much for showing up and mm -hmm. showing out like only you do. Um, we, I'm just, we're just glad to have you on our brand, and we see big things. Um, the people are all chomping at the bit to know who is this lady that's with the man that we came to see. Mm -hmm. The show that we have that I built. So could you please look at that camera and let them know what y'all about? Because you have accolades on your own. Yeah. So uh, we had a photo shoot um, not too long ago at the Fabrication Yard um, with photographer Busy Thomas. He, shout um, out Busy. Yeah, shout out to Busy. <laughs> he, um, we um, did a couple of outfits. I did about three changes. I had um, also did for cutting up with LA as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And on um, right, so um, we have some of the pictures on Facebook and Instagram. You can check it out. Uh, Lauren One Way Model Lewis and Instagram Lauren underscore One Way Model underscore Lewis. Whoa. Underscore, yeah. underscore, underscore. <laughs> She's official. I like yeah. runway models. See, not yeah. just a model. No. I, can, I can be a hand model. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. You can runway be a, um... No, no, no. Don't finish that. Okay. <laughs> runway model. Right? <laughs> so how long has modeling been something that you wanted to do? Is this a lifelong dream? Or is this, you know, you were doing something else, you're like, you know what? I got, I got, I got the model type. I'm getting it. What, what was, what was the plan for you? You know, it's funny. I actually started modeling when I was younger, probably around 17, 18. Okay. I um, went to modeling school. I went to Mail Hill Modeling School in Houston, Texas. All right. And then I had a contract with Neil Hamill. Um, okay. However, my parents looked over the contract. We had an attorney kind of look over it, and they were not willing to sign it. Um, oh, because you were under. You said you were 18. Uh, yeah, I was underage at oh, the time, okay. so the terms they wasn't agreeing with them right so i was devastated i'm not gonna lie i kind of let it go okay um probably i guess a few years back a few years ago um a lot of people kept saying hey you should model you should model i was like yeah i used to but i just you know i got older so i'm like right. you know the market is usually for younger models like 16 to 24. yeah so now i'm 29. okay so i'm like okay i'm probably too old to do it but um i was like oh it's not in like New York and certain areas is still cool. Like Texas is not really a market. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I'm kind of working toward going upstate, um, doing some things up there. Um, but what I'm doing now is um, I'm working on getting signed with the agency. Okay. So um, that's what I'm doing. So you are you, as now freelance, you're baby. Now I'm freelance. You are freelancing right freelance. now. Well, you know, freelance ish, because, you know, as, as she's with the Cutting Up with LA, Know My Right brand, you know. Uh, of course, the right. parent label main attraction. Well, uh, I can understand her. Right. I can understand her wanting to, you know, facts, not fox, make money off. So I'm a, I guess I'm a freelance host because I don't get paid to, you know, be here <laughs> either. So. You're all in the umbrella, right? I'm, I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Rihanna ain't the only one that got it. Baby. Well, I'm just trying to say, there's my Thundercat George. Then, what, what, if I can't have, you know, if Sir, I'm in the umbrella, in due time we will get you some chucks, right? Some chucks. <laughs> yeah. But Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. anyway, <laughs> you. Um, so you said in that time frame, you're 18, so you're 20, a couple of years ago, you started back up. What were you doing in the interim in between there? Um, I, I wasn't doing much modeling. I was just focused yeah. on school mostly. And okay. My, yeah. So now um, I'm trying to get my face out there, get my name out there. Right. So I've been doing like a couple of shows. I, I actually have one coming up this Sunday. Okay. Um, it's a bridal show in Las Salinas at the Urban Convention Center. Okay. So I got that going. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. <laughs> Well, okay. It's well, coming. okay. It just came up. I mean, you know, she said bridal. Right. You know, it's that little cliche thing. Lauren said it's coming. Yeah. 
So are we betrothed? Is that what you're saying? No. No? no. You, are you dating? No, I'm not. I'm you're not? You're saying? No. Yes. Well, you're out. She you're is out. a model and she is focused. Yes. I'm on okay. Being a model. Big fact. Yeah. Big fact. Let's focus. We don't have time for the Nathans out there <laughs> when we're signed with when we're signed with the LAs of the world, okay? Right now we're focused. You signed her before you signed me? Well, you know, I mean, look at her. And then, right, 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 right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what, what do you think? You know, facts are facts. Set up, slam. Right here. Uh, holidays. Right, holidays. So, Lauren, as a acclaimed model, yeah. as a as a, a a wanted, desired model that's at the top of your game, being sought after by copious amounts of of of, of agencies. Um, the holiday season, how did that do for you with your modeling? Did you have several gigs? and How was your holidays as well, being able to juggle, you know, the holiday family life with uh, the successful, magnetic modeling career that you have? Okay, so during the holidays, to be honest, like, a lot of the stuff slows down. Right. Um, a lot of the, the only thing that I really had going with some casting calls for coming up shows for the spring, like March, or what now I have a show I'm doing. Um, I did a few photo shoots to just kind of keep myself going, um, keep my pictures relevant because I'm actually building my portfolio. So I had to, um, I did these shoots for that, but that's pretty much the most part. I mean, it slows down a lot during the holidays. So, okay. yeah. what are some of the what are some of the dangers in in modeling? I mean, I know uh, you are mm -hmm. incredibly thin, uh, yeah. uh, so is is diet. Sure. That, okay, you yeah. is dieting an issue for you, or have you always been? I'm oh, sorry, I just looked it up. That is a compliment in the model world. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, is that something that you are that you find difficult to maintain your weight, or do you see yourself as you just naturally you, you don't gain weight as much as you would with your body type? Yeah, I'm naturally thin. I don't gain much weight. However, I do have to watch what I eat because right. it goes straight to my stomach. Now, do <laughs> you have eat. a specific diet for different times of year, like uh, like like with bodybuilders? They have an mm -hmm. off season where mm -hmm. they they bulk up, and, and I'm not saying yeah. you would do that. Yeah. But is there a season where you say, okay, I'm gonna take a break? You know, like this is the winter months or this is the summer months. And we're not doing a lot of winter. We're not doing a lot of summer shooting. Mm -hmm. Did you have a specific diet you'd like to stick to? No, I, I pretty much keep it the, the same throughout. Same because throughout. You never know. It might be even if it's slow on the photo on the runway shows, it might be pick up on the photo shoot. So okay. you still want to keep you know still your body fat. Yeah. Okay. And it's exercise. We're dieting, running. Yeah. Your physical. I'm, I'm in the gym. I'm in there at least four times a week. So. Oh, yeah. so that, she's in the gym four <laughs> times. She week. has to be, right. sir. That deal that I signed her to is right. so <laughs> lucrative. So she better, you know, watch what you say. Residuals you know, on that, baby. Discrimination. You know, I might want to go and be an ambassador as well. You know, she said she was in jail for I was in the gym last week. Better off meeting an ambassador. Go right. ahead. <laughs> I, and for the first time, and I, I, I thought about it, it was, it's, it's the first time in about eight years. I, I can see that. two full court basketball games. Did you? Yeah. And if you want to turn out, I died. Like, I literally died out there. I was gassed. I had no wind. I was just, I mean, I, I couldn't jump. I couldn't shoot. I could. I, I played like you. I, I, I was so well, horrible. Are you? Now, are you certain? I was only saying it. Okay. Because my health is an issue. Now I have a question. Okay. Now you said all this was going on, and mm -hmm. I get that at your highly advanced age, I can see. Right. That. I was getting to that too. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, are you certain mm -hmm. that this was not maybe reliving moments? of old non-glory of you watching yourself back then. Because I'm certain that the tape probably wouldn't show any difference to I, I actually was a very good basketball player for a long time. Oh, on, on the game. Yeah, I was too, man. Are you talking about 2K? Yeah, as a matter of fact. Okay. Unlike you, I yeah. was an athlete. So. Oh, okay. Uh, now, but I say that to say this, and I brought up the <laughs> yeah, those things. quotations. Right, the quotations. <laughs> I was asking, because you are, you are incredibly thin, uh, I have recently gained 16 pounds. Out of nowhere, and I have been dieting. I've been on an intermittent fasting. I was eating the, the ribs and stuff, and doing all other stuff. So, so I'm hoping it was out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, the holidays came by. So, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. so you did. So all of a sudden, sixteen pounds. Right. You just ooh, 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 oh, what is this? Right, right, right. right. I, 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 is that what you? Pounds is from the <laughs> bread, it came from the crab. It came from the chicken. It came from the sausages and the grilled bird. It's, it's just. But yet, it came out of absolutely nowhere. nowhere. Listen, I looked up, I went to the doctor today, and she was like, you're 280 pounds. I said, 280 pounds? I said, you're 280 pounds. I said, are you out of your mind? I am not 280. I'm 264 pounds. 
I almost cried right there. I asked him, she laughed. I asked, I said, is the scale broken? It's got to be broken. So I right. adjusted incorrectly. So, so how did your transitioning go? <clears throat> transitioning? Yeah, I mean, you're explaining the same things I'm sure Lauren and many other women are going through right now. So I'm just curious, how did the transition so the, go? So I'm going to change? Is that I'm going to menopause? Is that, I mean, hey, you're, I'm gaining you're weight. You almost cried about weight. Right. You almost died. All right. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't almost die. I actually died. I actually I died. Actually oh, did. my goodness. Well, I didn't do all of that. But I was 16 pounds dead. came out of nowhere. Right. Out of, out of... <laughs> The blue. So how are you transitioning? <laughs> it's going great. It's going great. You know, I'm going back to. I'm gonna get back in these skinny jeans. No, soon enough. You know exactly. But no, I, I mean, I said it just. It sucks getting old. So you know, I just wanted to say that as you're young and in shape, enjoy it. Yeah. It's not it like you really it. hated this visit. If I <sighs> to just. Make yeah. It yeah. Yeah. I think we can have one of those what Nate hates. It's a, it's a quick one. It's not oh. even a rant. Oh, it's not even a rant. It's, it's a what just, Nate hates for 2020. What Nate hates? Oh, getting old. Mm. I in, in my year of our Lord 2020, and this year I will be 40 years old. 40. Now, for the first let, time, let, or let, that, let that sit on you. Let that sit in the air. I know you got some jokes. I'm just saying, 40. You hear me? You've been, 40. You've been looking so, like it for 30. I've been looking for <laughs> since I was 10. It's working it back. I've been looking at life for it. <laughs> so I need to embrace my age. I need to become, you know, so that's so why I was asking Lauren, is there some tricks or is there some, you know, what, like, are you more cardio in the gym? She's 29, sir. She's she she Right, I know. She's like, she like, she like <laughs> gain weight. What? <laughs> Oh, look at 40. Look at 40. I don't even look 40. I still get ID. I know. I don't look 20. I ain't looking 40. What's going on? Right. So you have no idea about nothing. I understand. I mean, you're young and the world is your oyster. You're modeling. It's like, oh, I'm going to give modeling a try. <laughs> I, I, I'm bored. Let me go go to a wedding in New York. Right. Let's <laughs> give modeling a try. Yeah. Right. Oh, man. My weekend plans are down. Why well, don't I just go for a casting call? Right. I'll be a man. All right. <laughs> Let me call up Giselle and right. see get, get, I mean, just the the youth. I just I'm very envious of it. Like I said, I used to have it. I let, I, I let it slip. You know, the age or whatever. But anyway, what Nate hates? Getting old. We'll have more on that later on because you know I'm gonna start tracking my ailments and mm. keep on the list a master list. So I got the plants are pesky. Should I give yes. you a, a Sunday yes. through Saturday pill of? <laughs> Disbursement, so that way you can make sure you take them on time, sir. On the for the record, I do have one of those pill dispensers. Okay, that have days on it, whatever. Yes, sir. Whatever, like, uh-huh. I have one of those, but I do, I do, I do. Anyway, uh, but <laughs> getting back to the other stuff, right? You know, that's enough about you know me and my age and you know when getting old. But uh, my my daughter for a time, she uh, well, she she wanted to be um, in entertainment. Okay. I guess, um, and I've always been, you know, leery of the industry and things that happen, you know, to to young beautiful girls, and you know, even and not to say this is you, but even yeah. just young and inexperienced and naive women yeah. in the industry. And when I was talking about before about the dangers of of, of fashion or the dangers of entertainment, <clears throat> I was wondering, and she's fourteen now, so okay. I mean, like, as you said, they want a younger. Uh, demographic for the different kinds of photo shoots, but they dress them up so adult. Yeah. And seeing that, it scared me off. You okay. know, when she was younger, because I didn't want them to make to, to for her to appear more adult than she really was. Okay. Have you noticed, experienced anything like that, or seen anything like that? Has anybody ever uh, that you know of, like some of your some of your uh, colleagues in the industry, have had any any danger dangerous situations with, uh, like you said, your parents? didn't like the numbers mm-hmm. with your management yeah. or anything like that. Has anything like that happened to you before? Yeah, I was actually with the agency, um, which I was naive, I'm gonna be honest. I oh, was okay. excited. Right, um, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was excited. Yeah. It, was a, it was my first opportunity. Um, it's, everything sounded great. Oh, we're gonna pay for your portfolio. We're gonna pay for your comp card. Oh. We're gonna, um, wherever you need, need to go, we're gonna pay cover the traveling expenses. Mm-hmm. And that's not usual. Most agencies now, they have you pay for your training, your comp cards on your portfolio to show that you're serious. What's a comp card? A comp card is basically like your um, 
I guess your model business card, okay. which it'll have like your pictures on there, your name, contact information, and like your measurements, like your height, weight. It's like a one sheet like or yeah, one sheet. One sheet. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. And so it was unheard of for that. So when he told me that, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm ready. You know, mm -hmm. so I signed it. Um, during the process, I didn't get any work. Mm -hmm. And then it was kind of like trying to be, he was trying to be more, get personal with me, you know. Oh. And what age is this? And this is, this is recent. So, oh, this is, yeah, this is oh, okay. Recent. So, wait a minute. So, so this was a, a manager or this yeah. was a... Uh, you said agency. Yeah, so, it was the manager, though, okay. of the agency. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So, he was the lead guy that kind of finds the talent, exactly. gets them hired, gets them work, mm -hmm. and you're saying that he took advantage of his position. Yes. Which, by the way, uh, at Main Attraction Entertainment, we would never, <laughs> ever resort to those tactics. Please okay. continue to tell us about this, the this, this, this story. story. Yeah, so when I decided to leave the <laughs> Me <agency>. five. Me <laughs> five. Me 40. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when I decided to leave the agency, um, he decided to reach out to all the photographers that I worked with. Mm. Um, two shows that I was in, he contacted them to get me out of the show all because he was mad that I left the agency. And, you know, I was like, wow, this is crazy. So. My thing is, um, I would tell any upcoming model to do your research, because even with me, with this agency, come to mm -hmm. find out they didn't even have a website, oh, they didn't have okay. an office or an uh, office phone number or nothing like that. So I'm oh, like, how okay. are you going to market your models without a website? Right. So you had shop. to have a cell phone number yeah. in sure. order to get in contact, exactly. yeah. and then it would be word of mouth and mm -hmm. this, that, and all. So it was just oh, kind of like a Facebook agency. It wasn't nothing. So what he was trying to, I guess for lack of a term, blackball you or something, or just put tarnish your career, your, your career. Yeah. Your, and, and thankfully, mm -hmm. that you know that didn't that didn't happen. Yeah. You know, because you're thriving as it is now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that's that's unfortunate. You know, have you? You said it's not too long ago. Have you mm -hmm. heard from this person or? It's yeah. not since. No, not since. And you said you're freelance right now, though, mm -hmm. so you're still looking. Yeah. But you, but I think right now it's because you've had that experience mm -hmm. that you're probably more leery of, yeah. of jumping in exactly. and you know and saying, okay, okay, I'm ready to sign. You know, my eyes are, you know, yeah. got stars in my eyes. Let me get started and do whatever you say. Yeah. Um, have you ever thought? Of, I mean, I'm assuming I'm assuming you're doing it now, mm -hmm. <clears throat> going out on your own, like said, you're freelancing mm -hmm. and managing yourself, and you know, not even getting involved with an agency. Is it harder? Is it much uh, harder? It's not much harder. It's just I, I believe it's a little more expensive. More it's expensive. Like, okay. Yeah, it is okay. more expensive. Um, it's worth it though. But the thing is, with the agency, they have more connects. Okay. So me personally, I go out to different events, and when I, when I go to casting calls, mm -hmm. I try to network with people, right. get numbers, stuff like that, so I can get my stuff out there. But at the same time, you know, you can only go so go far. Go so far, right? right. Yeah. It's so, who you know. It's yeah, who, it's you, who know. you know. So mm -hmm. in this industry, have is this common? With for for young ladies to be taken advantage of by a manager or some kind and and uh, exploited for you know uh, a personal relationship in order to advance in this career is this I've common that you've it. seen? I've heard of it. I'm not sure if it's just super common. I've heard of it though. I've heard of it happening. So now has it also happened to young men? Because I do understand modeling is you know for both genders. So do, have there been any? guy friends you may know in the industry that's also uh, faced this as well? No, I haven't. None of them that I know have spoken. Well, Ellie, haven't you, you know, because you are, you're, one of your slashes yeah. is, you know, being a model. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. yeah. I, I try to talk too much about it. I got so much going on. And you, you're asking her, you know, very leading questions. And I was wondering yeah. if you just kind of wanted to get something off. I mean, because I know you had, you had a manager, his, Alex, huh? Jacob, whatever his name was. Yeah. And you know, you y'all kind of broke up abruptly. So I'm just wondering, is there something maybe that you wanted to say? That Did thing that may or? may be uh, <laughs> <laughs> notification of lies. <laughs> every time you lie, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. No, no. Every time, every time I hit on the point. <laughs> I don't think so. When they say they message, right? right. Yeah, exactly. I don't think message. so. Right. I don't know what Jacob and Alex is, <laughs> but I. <laughs> I, can, okay, right. I can say this for sure, right. that um, the industry in modeling is fierce, mm -hmm. yeah. it's aggressive, and Lauren has the right attitude in regards to her approach. Um, I feel that 
it's it's kind of like uh, being an artist as well in the music industry. I mean, yeah. you just never know who's truly for you or who's in a position to use that balance of power to you know fill their own agenda. Right. Yeah. And you know her situation it's very detrimental for women, especially the modeling world, because they see how big their eyes are, saucers, and, and their aspirations are. For, for doing something that they love. Right, and they take advantage and of that situation advantage, and, yeah. and them being, as you said, the naivete and thing and out there in the world. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I wanted to ask about you both, since you're both in the entertainment industry, you know, and I'll, I'll give you a little credence and say that you are an entertainer yeah. of some sort. You're just stating facts, not right. facts. Right, yeah, state facts, <laughs> not <laughs> Fox <laughs> Productions. That's right. From main <laughs> attraction worldwide, or, yeah, something like that. That'll work too. That'll work too, right, right, right. So, I mean, recently uh, in, in the entertainment, we, we've heard a lot about cancel culture, about people saying, being inappropriate, saying things that, you know, may have been too hot or whatever. And um, Kevin Hart has been in the news over the past year, and he recently came out with a special. And I'm not going to talk about the whole thing, but I just want to ask, in your situation of being entertainers and you may say something that's out of line or out of pocket or out of brand if you apologize for it does that mean that if somebody comes back later on years later and brings it up does that mean that you have to apologize for it again and how much is enough if it, it, it just in kevin hart's situation he apologized for the tweets he said before right. and he refused to say them again he refused to apologize again and he was for lack of a better term, destroy it for that. I mean, he's still, you know, popular, yeah. but he's that issue. So I wanted to get you guys' take on that. Right. What, what's enough? What's enough? If I say, if I apologize once, isn't that enough? Yeah, yeah. I feel it is. Right. Because yeah. how often can I say I, to somebody? Go ahead. Yeah, I agree. I agree with Lauren. I, I don't think that, um, I, I say this all the time about personal relationships. Uh, if anybody out there who, you know, has dated me, they know that this is my saying. Anybody that I've talked to on a regular, if they bring up their concerns with me about their relationships, I say this on a regular. You cannot try me for the same crime right. more than once. Right. After I have been addressed by it, right. I've given that societal judgment, I've given <laughs> the official judgment, right. and I've had to go on record and apologize and and be trite about it and all of that. Once I've done that, right. that's that. Yeah. I'm not going to apologize for calling Nathan gay right. two years ago. Right. First of all, because it's still true. It's false. And then second of all, but I already be, apologized for it. But wouldn't that be reactivated by saying what you just said now? Like you said you apologized for it, but you just said I was using an example. So, but so you kind of said it by proxy. You was like, oh yeah. No, it was I just an example. That. Like Nate, me saying the exact words verbatim, Nathan's gay. I already did that two years ago, so I'm not saying it again today. Right. I'm just saying what I said to Nathan's ago. gay. You said I was ago. simply saying that that's two years ago what I said, and I apologized last week for it. So, you know right. what I'm saying? It's, but you it's didn't, all you didn't say it. You said you say it now, you said it before. Right. I, I, before I said Nathan's gay. Right. But I'm not at all saying that today. Of course not. Because that would be absurd. Yeah. You're not that kind of person. No. You're not absurd. No. You're not a walking mediocrity. Exactly. You're not sitting here. Not at all. You're not, you're not some absurd clown or whatever. Anyway, yeah. Um, no. I, as I, humble I, as I am. As humble Come as on now. You know, for the record, as humble as you are, I have counted your face on your body five times. It's, it's brand. On your, it's, okay. Okay. You call it what you want. You call it what you want. Right. Enough is enough. It's okay. gonna happen a little we, We've seen it. Okay. <laughs> it's on your head. It's on your shoulder. It's on your lap. It's on your jacket. It's on your front. It's on your back. It's probably on your socks and drawers. I guarantee it. <laughs> I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. In the middle of the middle of the back, right, right, right. Got the glass right two sides of your body. <laughs> Here's the main attraction, man. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, but I, I agree with you guys about forgiveness. Uh, I, I just think that everybody wants to be wants to wants their apology personal. Mm -hmm. Like in, in the in the culture I'm talking about on Twitter and on Instagram, everybody wants you to apologize. Like I have to apologize to you, yeah. and then I have to apologize to you, and then I have to apologize to you, and everybody. And then if you have friends that didn't hear me apologize to you, right. they want me to apologize to you as well. Yeah. They want me to apologize yes, to them as well. It gets to be too much. Yeah. And I agree somewhat with Kevin Hart saying I've already talked about it. 
I've already, I, I've already apologized exactly. for it. Right. You know, and, and the argument for it on the other side is, well, what about new fans who didn't hear the apology? And but, but then here's my thing about that. Right. How do you not hear the new apology mm -hmm. that's more recent and more available okay. than something you had to go right. find right. Right. back right. in the day? No, that's bull. Right. You can you can find an apology that I made recently about something I did back in the day. Mm -hmm. More evident and more it's more attainable now yeah. than it is for something I did in a little small camera phone, probably a flip phone mm -hmm. at the time that recorded that. Come yeah. on now. Well, no, it, it, it's absurd because, yeah. you, like you said, you wouldn't remember that, but you go out of your way to find the negative, right? but you won't accept the positive because I didn't make it to you. And you know what? That brings another point. That's, that's what I was talking about earlier to a friend of mine is that society has also, if I can get into this, mm -hmm. um, society is pushing uh, men and women against each other. More specifically, uh, mm -hmm. black men and black women. Okay. Um, and the reason why is because um, as impressionable that we say men are as children, mm -hmm. women are always impressionable. When it comes to fashion, sure. it comes to makeup, mm -hmm. hair, all that kind of stuff. So women are always impressionable. So when I see online and on social media all these stupid memes, these reality shows that are coming out, all this stuff is impressionable for females. Mm -hmm. And what's always shared, what's always talked about, what's always on the topic of everyone's mind is the negative negative memes about how men need to shoot their shot or that's their audition or you can do by yourself and blah, blah, blah. Right. All of this stuff that fosters the rivalry of black men versus sure. black women. Right. And the same with the reality shows. Oh, every reality show shows the woman getting cheated on mm -hmm. and then the other women talking about oh either you deserved it or it's mm -hmm. his fault girl he ain't shh, right. and all of that so all of this stuff is fostering a rival relationship mm -hmm. between black men and black women and i feel like not to say it's the reason mm -hmm. but i feel like it's fostering things like fathers leaving before children are born um, not wanting to commit in relationships, uh, marriages falling apart, divorces, even domestic violence. Because mm -hmm. I feel like if you're going to foster a, a, a culture mm -hmm. that was founded on sticking together back in times of our ancestors and slave days and all that, sure. that's how they got by. That's how Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, and all those were able to make mm -hmm. the, the strides they did to help free us as people. Sure. And nowadays, it's like, oh, well, instead of the slavery mentality, let's divide and conquer. Right. So, and what we're doing is we're fostering that by paying attention to these reality shows and all this stuff sure. because it's fostering an environment of men versus women. Well, a lot, a lot of, I agree uh, with, with a lot of what you're saying. I mean, I, I think about uh, the book where I just looked it up, I forgot the guy's name, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, mm -hmm. which is the book by his name is uh, John Gray. Anyway, okay. So the robbery you're talking about is just that we're different people. But I think this, when you start talking about marriages and sticking together and, and fathers leaving, it's about options. Everybody has more options now. Like when, when, when women, us women, when, when relationships... Uh, yeah, us women because you're transitioning, I get it. Sure. You still yeah. have to, you're trying yeah. to get yeah. used to talking like, you know, whatever. Right. Yeah. I was being, you done? Oh yeah, okay, just make sure. All right, Nathan's my game. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so yeah, back in the day, I mean, there was a time when women could not be out on their own. I'm talking about in the early 1900s yeah. without a man. Yeah. You know, so when you're talking about people sticking together back in a long time in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, there were times when women couldn't have, they couldn't own property, they couldn't have things for themselves. So they did stick together. The the the, the marriage and and the unity was there because they didn't have a lot of options. They, they couldn't make it on, they, society would allow them to survive on their own. Right. Now, and not to say this good or bad, I'm not going to either side, I'm just saying that now there's a lot of options to say that I don't have to stick with you. Right. That regardless, I don't have, no, no, sorry, to stick with you, I don't have to work it out. Yeah. Like, and there, there's no, and there's no, you know, somebody saying, okay, you have to stick it out or you should try yeah. to work things out. And everybody's like, okay, well, you know, he didn't take the trash out in like six months in a row. I'm sick of this stuff. Right. I'm getting out of here. I'm, you know, I'm, his brother's cuter anyway. Yeah. You, know, you know, stuff like that. So I think that us as a, as a people in any black culture, white culture, whatever culture you're talking about, we, we just need to have more <clears throat> integrity, you know, and, and, and really look at 
who we are as a people. I'm good enough or I don't have to impress you every day because of what I've done for you in the past. What I've done for you before and what I'm doing for you now should dictate, should give, should give me some currency for the future. And by that, I'm just saying it doesn't have to be zero to 100 every single time we have an argument yeah. or there's a, there's a dispute or we disagree and it's got to blow everything up. How about we have been together for five years and this is not a personal story, I'm just making a scenario. It's we, a personal story. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> we have been together for five years. Whoa, whoa, make sure I'm clear. What you said before, don't try me because I, whatever, I have sayings too is that if you want to leave, you're more than welcome to. You're not. You don't have to stay here. You're, you're, whatever. You can go. So I'm just whatever. It's not, it's not as catchy as my balcony. Yeah, yours is catchy. Yeah. <laughs> you're Captain Catchy. You're, 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 you're Captain Microwave yeah. Humor. Right. right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just saying, it, it, just some integrity. Yours matches your age. Right. That's yeah. it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> With, it, it's nothing. I'm, I'm wiser now. Oh, okay. Right. See, I, I'm gonna get the. I am gonna get the. We talked about it before. Well, what the, is it called? The, the Benji on my. On the Benji. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. What? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Benji. Yeah. Will you will yeah. you will you blacken or you you no, change? No, I'm right. 100 at gmail.com. Please email us about the Benji. Yeah, the Benji. <laughs> yeah, the Benji you put on your face to make or, or your hair to yeah. darken it up. Uh -huh. You know, because you, you look younger. You, go, you get the Marquise Houston. The get you a little from IMX, right? Yeah, get you a little line. Who up. who is what's the guy's name? I can't, Omarion. Yes. Omarion. Yeah. My hero. Okay. Right. That's his brother. Still? Yeah. I thought it was just 2019. Just 2019. Right. Well, I haven't gotten a new one yet. I, I, I thought the new one was 45 because he released a missile. Who's 45? Oh, Trump's? I thought because he released a missile. Nah, no, no, not Trump's. Trump's. Oh, nah, okay. not, not, not fans of Trump's. Okay. Okay. We, we can talk about more political stuff next week okay. uh, because of our guest. Yeah. Anyway. anyway, but I would hate to, I don't want to alienate, that. sorry, our guest by getting so deep and in-depth into relationship talk and things like that. How are you, Lauren? Oh. <laughs> what the, are we starting the show over? No, I'm just saying. She was sitting here and we're talking back and forth, and I, I just I hate that part when we do that and we kind of demonize well, no, she the, just, she's monopolize just, the show. She's just soaking it in, and you know, as right. as our as, as you a, are a lot as my first, you know, big act on the main attraction entertainment label. Um, Facts, not false said, entertainment. Yeah, uh, no, I'm right. Worldwide, one hundred. So, you know, yeah. it's just, it's just, you know, she's just soaking it in. That's all. Right, right. Yeah. So, what's the future for Lauren? What, what's moving forward? Like, if we, we were looking, where we're going to see you next? Are you, are you acting? You said you're doing some, um, some photo shoots and things like that. Uh, casting calls, mm -hmm. what you were saying before. Yeah. So, you are acting as well. No, the casting calls are actually for the runway shows. Oh, just for the so runway shows. Okay, okay. Audition to okay. The runway shows. Yeah. So, and you said you have some shows this weekend. Yes, I have one. Um, this is coming up Saturday. Okay. Um, the bridal shows from twelve to five. The runway shows start at two, mm -hmm. and it's at the Los. Um, the Irving uh, Convention Center in Las Colinas. So. And even though we love you as our brand ambassador, yes, <laughs> you want to you want to reach out to represent more brands. I'm I'm assuming. Yes. Brand I, branding is important branding, to you. Yeah. How, and L A. And I like that. I'm glad to have another expert here. Okay. Well, you know, not an expert. L A. is that whatever that is. Is that amazing? Is right. Sure. Iconic. Is, is that yeah. branding? Yeah, that's brand. That's brand. That he he shows up. It. Just want to make sure because I didn't know. I'm not saying this right or wrong. You heard it. It's absurd. You heard it. But if she says yeah, I would it's agree. It's a with word, her. not absurd. It is a word <laughs> that yes, I heard. Yeah. Uh, but it, I mean, I know about product placement and things like that, and, and, and get it staying in the public eye, and making sure people know your image and know your brand and your logo and know what you know what you're about. Um, and you being a, a brand ambassador is you know. How was it on the on the on the photo shoot with with LA? Is he, you know, because he to me is yeah. more of a girl than anybody else I know. Says the transitioning guy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is is he a diva on the photo nah, shoot? Nah, that's cool. Not? The photo shoot was cool. Like we, had, we enjoyed it. We had fun. You don't have to yeah. stick up for him. Consummate no, like professional, I think, is yeah, what you're looking for. The word is consummate. <laughs> Make sure we that's, you, you said you said consonant. No, I said I'm a consummate professional. Okay, yeah, yeah. right. I thought you said like Don Bowles. I thought you said consonant, but anyway, yes, yeah, consonant, so, consonant. Yeah, red, yeah, whatever. I'm yeah, not, I'm not even going into that with you. 2020 is a new year. We're not doing that. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Not gonna play a word like that. So, uh, right, it's not what we do. Forget that. Yeah. Uh, so yes, yeah, so new things for you. You say you have shows this weekend, and what about further in the future? What's your what? What's the year look like for Lauren Lewis? 
I also want to get spine. Okay. I really do. That's that is the, again, yeah. you mean, again, yeah. Yeah. Under, under a different umbrella. Yeah, yeah, just, you know, a less. I don't even want to consider that being fine without the umbrella. umbrella. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was just, no. Yeah. Yeah. But you're already with the best brand on earth. But I mean, yeah, yeah another, yeah. <laughs> you're okay, it's still Rachel Wins. It's funny okay. because. See, yeah, she kept know. talking about listening to that book. I'm okay with that. <laughs> she did, she was, she was <laughs> like, man, and you start talking she again. Knows, <laughs> she <laughs> knows which side that bread butter. Okay. Well, you butter toast, not really bread, but go ahead. Well, no, it's people. funny because in the past I didn't sign with Neil Hamill, but right. they're they actually did. reached out to me, and Good I'm going them. back to Houston um, on February the first to possibly sign with them. So. No, we didn't get much, much background. Are you originally from Houston? Uh, no, I was born here, but I was raised in Houston. You was raised, you were raised mm -hmm. in Houston. Okay, okay, yeah. all right, all right. Okay, so uh, we have being signed, new agency, uh, you know, new representation, and and what is that going to do? For, are you are you going to go more into any other facets of modeling? Is it just going to be runway? Uh, do you want to be on screen print model? Um, um, yeah, I'll do some print. I'm mostly like runway, but I want to get into commercials, so that's what I'm looking into. Can you teach me the runway walk? Yes, I can. You can. Yeah. There's actually a walk. Yeah, there's a lot. Right there's no, <laughs> brother. No, no, no. I did some research. There's a walk yeah. that you have to. There's a lot of. I thought King was gonna get up and do it. No, uh, I, I thought because I heard some noise. I was hoping. Was, I think that was him locking your chair. There. <laughs> no, I didn't know so you wouldn't get up. No, see, see, see. The, the cameras can't show the full uh -huh. majesty with that strap that just got right, right. strapped over your leg. So I, like, uh, I like, I like when you brought up the future because that's a good segue. Perfect segue. Yeah, yeah, not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> because the future is not only promising for young Lauren and young LA himself, but the future. Young? Yeah, indeed. Yeah. The future is really? quite promising mm -hmm. for your and mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think they Dallas it. Cowboys. Oh! <laughs> you know, I kept. I kept the presents came the last present. Conversation going with Lauren, <laughs> hoping that um, we would run out of time. No, not at all. Plenty hoping of time. That we would run out of time. Plenty of time. Because baby. we both had some predictions. Did. About the Cowboys season. Did. Lauren yeah. was there. She Lauren, saw it. She, right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I know one of our predictions didn't happen. Well, well let's start with the first prediction. Uh, Washington was terrible. <laughs> I mean that that's first. I mean let's just get F that out facts there. not false. Yeah. Facts not okay. false. So we're done with that. We're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're gonna be that's a wrap. Right. Right. That's a wrap. All right, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Bye watch them. Uh but after that, I believe that you said I not him. Okay. That is that is I am. Right. But you mm -hmm. said that the Cowboys, okay. the, your Dallas football cowboys, yes. were going to the playoffs. Did. You said that at the beginning. Of fact. this season, yes, it did. Matter of fact, you said their record uh -huh. was going to be something like twelve and four. I don't know because you, you might need to check the tape. You said only like two or three games are going to lose. I don't know. We might have to check the tape. Right. I okay. believe I was in the eight day range. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't. <laughs> we'll, no, check, no. we'll check the tape. <laughs> we'll no, check. no, yeah. no. I no. used no BIL, so no. we'll check. No. The tape. No, no, because I remember you was like, you was on game 10. Like, we can't, oh, you got to tell me what episode that was. Right. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and go to YouTube right. and we can find out. All 29 <laughs> episodes, we're going to look through to check to make sure that you said okay. that it's going to be 12. And now, and we'll call out me for making an error. Because you make lots of errors. You Who? made another error yourself, Who? okay? Because Who I prefer <laughs> to make sure I call you out <laughs> on Mr. Oh, the Cowboys emphatically will have a losing record right. at the end of the season. And, and you were wrong. Right, but I want to point out that I said that early on. And when it started to go that way, okay, there were some shaky cowboy boot wearing cowboy fans when they were down to two games left. Not I, because I told you they would not have a losing record. Well, in, in their defense, they did play a JV Washington Redskins team. Ah, uh, TV? The talent. Maybe freshman? The talent they put out there was subpar. Oh, or did you mean Junior High? Junior J -H. High. Yeah, yeah, J okay. H. Okay. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, gotcha. Watch the rest. Don't even get a ladder, but Jack can always be trusted <laughs> to show up and not right. show out. Right. Uh, That's why they have the most racist name in the NFL, I guess. Uh, 
They can't get nothing together, I guess. Right, right, right. right. Are you are you a football fan? Yeah, I'm a Cowboys. You're, you're you're a Cowboys fan. I am. Facts, not Fox, baby. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Did did you have a prediction? Uh, were you excited about that? Because there's more news. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I did think they were gonna go a little further than they did. Further than they did. Yeah. yeah. They tried. You know, yeah. they, they did as they could. Mm-hmm. But. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Jason, Jason Garrett is gone, so. That, that was the news. There's yes. more news. Jason Garrett is gone. So now the Cowboys have oh, no coach. Let me, in, 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 in honor of Jason Garrett. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was good show. Good show. Right, right. Good meeting over right. nine yeah. years. Uh, good show. Yeah. Good show. Uh, way good to go, guys. See yeah. the shower. That's what I'm talking about. Back. Yeah, way to punt it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Looking like Washington out there. Like good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. But. Fast into the game. If I can just take a quick sec to acknowledge some specific ball clubs <laughs> in the NFL real quick. All right. Because I believe most of my fan base have already seen my comments on social media. But let me go ahead and direct myself to the camera here. Right. First off, let me tell y'all about your New England Patriots, okay? Oh. Okay. Tom Terrific. Defending champion. Is, needs to be Tom Retired. Mm-hmm. Okay. Father time is undefeated. So, Patriot fans, <laughs> to the house you go. But more importantly, <clears throat> this microphone right here is you Saints fans. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. so you, do that. you Saints fans. I'm letting y'all have it 365 days. I'm sorry, it's a leap year. 366 days this year. Because you talk all that noise. You've been talking about who that, when that, how that, that, who, all of that. I'm coming at your neck every day. It's 364 days. No, I mean, I mean but 350, 350, yeah, how many days left? I mean, no, since they lost, it's three, we had 360. Until when? Since the next playoff. Time. So we had 363. Let's just say 363. Y'all got 363 more days of me coming at y'all neck because y'all talk all that noise and you've been to one funky Super Bowl. Even made songs of uh, 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 back and go to the Super Bowl. You ain't been back since. Mm. If you ain't bought no ticket, where's your paper bags at? I'm tired of y'all talking. One Super Bowl victory. What? And y'all think y'all run the world. You don't. But it's more recent than the Super Bowl. It don't matter about how recent. It matters yeah, it about does. what you're about. Because more recent. recently, we can talk about the 54 abominations of years that they had. And just recently, <laughs> they recent. became relevant. That's not recent. And the only reason why they're relevant why? is because a tragedy happened down there in New Orleans. Call her Katrina. Are you saying a that tragedy? The reason why the, they won the Super Bowl was because of Hurricane Katrina. I'm saying that the fact that they even run around tout New Orleans because you didn't hear nobody tout New Orleans until that tragedy. And I love the city of New Orleans, and I love the people down there. I love the food. But you Saints fans, y'all a whole different race and species. So I'm aiming at y'all. Race. Bring it on, Saints fans, because until you win something. Shut it up. Didn't they win the NFC championship? Sir, they didn't even get nowhere this year. We sat to the side because we already knew we wanted to bring no heat. And they had nerve to be 13 and 3. But you're downplaying the fact you said y'all sat to the side. Y'all were sat down to the side. And they were sat down as well. So why is it by Minnesota? Vitriol, who did y'all lose to? And, uh, who are you working for? I, and you wonder why your bonus was what, so cheap. What the fuck? Man, I had no idea somebody losing the money. Keep going ahead. When I try to change the subject, Lord, something. you can go ahead and close out the show, that boss. Lord, look directly at me. Oh, so that we're mad. Oh, we're upset, mad. Go ahead, Lord. Please go ahead. Okay, I can check him out on Instagram, Lauren underscore one one one. Lauren underscore one one one. And Facebook, Lauren Runway Model Lewis. Do you hear how professional and and, 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 and sultry and, and all that that she is. She's just an amazing gift for the yeah. new main she, she can get her point across without you. My yeah. goodness. Yeah. Laura, go ahead and show them a little close out for the show. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Come on over there and know I'm right merchandise are available online. Visit the Know I'm mm-hmm. Right Instagram and Facebook pages for more information. Also, all episodes of Cutting Up with LA, season one. Yes, because he's greenlit for two. 
Season 1 is now available. Check the LA Runs Out page on Facebook and Instagram. Remember, send all questions, inquiries, concerns, and anything else that we don't care about to knowimright100 at gmail.com. And even visit us with some comments on the Know I'm Right YouTube page at youtube.com. Nathan, what's the rest? 104 slash gmail.com. He said it wrong. So youtube.com forward slash no, I'm right 100. All right, that's 100. So do not contact them and try to find us on Twitter. They just simply don't have enough characters for Nathan's ego. So again, sign out from May Attraction Entertainment, Facts Not False Productions, from the Executive Suite, the KMWI Media Studios. This is Dallas's favorite son. Sign it out and remember the golden rule. I'm always right. No, I'm not. Good night, here. The circle of life. Bring it, baby! Bring it! Come on, you single and you needin' somebody to lean on. Come on, relationship you in, the starting to seem wrong.